Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. It's Lisa. Actually, if you have no idea what happened, I have no idea what happened. Suddenly, as I am speaking, it just tells me I have absolutely no connection, and yet this entire thing is rolling. Well, hello. <laughs> Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. This is uh, the hour that we talk about things that we want to, I want to help and guide you uh, to heal within. And what does heal within mean? I know not everybody needs healing, but there are so many of us that truly have healed need a healing and inspirational things to feel good you know to feel good is in a way of uh, giving ourselves that antidote and the medicine and the pampering to feel better so that's it feeling better about who you are feeling better about a wound feeling better about something that you are grieving is what Heal Talk Tuesdays is all about. So today I want to talk about intention, setting an intention to heal within. Hi, Sido John, how are you? Oh, it's so good to have you here. Um, being interactive is one of the things that I want to do. So if you are here, hi, Linda, have a blessed day. You too, my dear. I, <laughs> um, life is good. You know, I, I want to talk about, uh, setting intentions, how we create this vibration of love gifts, um, uh, and knowing that, not everything is a cookie cutter, right? And when we talk about heal talk, it's uh, someone said, but I don't have anything to heal. Um, and yet, in, in our sessions, this uh, a lot of the burden that he was carrying, um, having uh, being overweight, over 60 pounds, and as we started doing our hypnotherapy, our second session, guess what? As I usually say, the work that I do, I may be using hypnosis, but it's mostly beginning to peel away layers and layers of the weight or all this burden, emotional burden, emotional weight, emotional uh, grievings that we have because setting intention is to first and foremost saying this is what I want and being very clear very clear in what it is that we want because I can turn around and say I want to be rich and someone else can look at me and say but you already are you have a business you have a show you have your car you're driving a great car you have a home that is richness so identifying and setting intention of what is rich what is the number what does it that equates to it's the lifestyle so I can turn around and say, I want to be in a comfort zone that I can have a weekly massages. Ah, that's a different richness. So setting that intention, I want you to be very clear when you want to create something in your life. When a client comes and says, I want to have a session with you. You know, my first thing is, where are we? And where do you want to be? Because I have to guide you and help you to get from here to here. When someone is walking into my office and saying, I want to become a non-smoker, it's very clear. And it doesn't matter if that person is having uh, only two cigarettes a day or a two, well, yes, I did know someone who smoked two packs a day and I helped her stop smoking in less than three sessions. Why? Her intention, 
her goal, her entire being was in, I no longer want to be a smoker. So it was very clear. I'm coming to you. I need your guidance. I need your help to help me stop smoking. That's it. So everything else is an excuse. Everything else is an addition to that. When you walk in here and say, I cannot sleep and I want to sleep. Okay. The intention is what? You need six hours of sleep. How many hours do you get now? I get about four hours of comfortable sleep. And then I wake up and I'm constantly awake. Or I can't fall asleep. And the intention is through hypnosis and guided visualization to go into her mind, into your mind, to do a mindset reset. It's like this little chip. I've explained how our mind works so precisely. It's like better than a Rolex watch. And there are watches better than Rolex. So it's like this tick, 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 tick. And this tick is doing exactly what we think, what we feel, what we do. So we go in there and if your internal alarm clock, if your internal alarm clock for whatever reason, either to stand guard for a baby, to stand guard for your safety, to stand guard for a traumatic thing that happened and that triggered for you not to be able to sleep, there is this mechanism that it's now created inside your body that stands guard or brings you to full conscious awareness after four hours. Now we go in and shift that internal clock. If there is no other triggers and anything else. And if there is, I peel away the triggers by helping you come to this evoking the triggers. Aha, light bulb. Now I understand why my body awakens me. Number two, embrace the times that you have been sleeping for four hours. And yes, we evolve by shifting that mindset, doing a reset, and with a heart set. Yes, I accept it. And the body, tapping onto the body. It's that incantation, which is the move, movement with the affirmations. So when you do any kind of an affirmation and you want that to be embedded, you must do a movement or an emotion, which is emoting emotion, set in with it. And by doing so, either by tapping, grounding, anchoring my client and asking the mind and the body and the subconscious, if you agree to accept this and it says yes, then we anchor it further, deeper down and thus setting it for six hours or seven hours, whatever the intention is. But first, again, is by knowing, evoking, acknowledging certain triggers and then embracing the reality and then evolving to having a six to eight hours of profound deep sleep. Do you know what that means? That means they are ready to heal within. And healing does not necessarily mean that there was a pain or there was hardship. This is called heal within. So taking you from one place to another. Why? Because you do matter. Your life matters. Your sleep matters. Your vitality matters. All the things that you want to sleep for matters. Does that make sense? So we're not sleeping more because you just want to. It's because it rejuvenates. It rejuvenates your body. You feel better. You feel rested. And by feeling so much better, 
you can tackle so many other things in life and deal with things more calmer. When you de-stress or when you uh, drop the weight because, not because of always vanity, but if it's putting pressure on your knees, if you are having heart murmur, if it is affecting you exercising or even walking a little bit of a distance, or better yet, one of my clients who really wanted to get on the floor and play with her grandchildren so that she doesn't have that excuse all the time. No, grandma is tired. Grandma can't sit on the floor. Grandma can't do this. And she got sick and tired of saying no, no, no to her grandson, you know, and that that alone became the biggest motivation. And believe it or not, right now, Maggie has dropped 17 pounds. And I am so proud of her. In less than two months, 17 pounds in less than two months. Why? Because we evoked her own limiting beliefs her barriers. Oh my God, it's been such a long time. No matter what I do, I just can't lose more than five pounds. And it just keeps coming back. Wow. Change the language, setting the intention of what I want. I want to get on the floor and play with my grandson. I want to go for a walk with my grandson, not having any pain. You see, we truly make a change in our life. Either the reward is so wonderful or the pain is far greater than where we are today. Maggie was truly in pain by constantly telling her grandson, I can't, I can't. Because she came here and saying, you know what? I keep telling my grandson I can't. What kind of a message am I giving him? He's only three years old. It's beautiful because her entire intention every single morning became, what am I going to do today to become lighter, to feel better? to drop the weight and peel away the layers that I no longer have excuses. And with a little bit of a mindset, a reset with a heart set, that means she emotionally connected to her desired outcome. Bingo. Now the body says, yes, I'm doing this for you. The mind says, I'm ready. Is that what you want? Let's do this. And the subconscious, the conscious, everything is now working towards it. Of course, she's listening to my uh, audio recording for drop weight. She's listening to the mind-body connection, which helps her feel uh, as if she wants to exercise and not that she wants to, but she has started already exercising because the music is so wonderful, just makes you want to move. Plus, plus in that recording, every single of my audio recordings, you can go to my shop, you can even download it and you can get it, um, has the subliminal plus affirmations intentional messages that says this is how your conscious mind and subconscious mind are working to create your best version of you once we have a set goal we are getting there she has already surpassed truly surpassed the goal she had she thought all I want is 10 pounds. She's already at 17 pounds in less than two months. Now that is called success because we build on our successes. So here's my question to you. 
is there something that is paining you? Is there something that is you believed it was a limiting belief or you only saw the blocks in front of you? If so, I'm your guide. Either coaching you, doing a guided visualization, doing the hypnosis, as a certified, not only a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, anger management, and domestic, there is so much of all the things that have been triggering you, blocking you, that we find the ways and the means to eliminate it for you to see your gift. You know why? Believe it or not, is because you are the gift. And for whatever reason you have just surrounded you and burdened you, maybe with a lot of weight, with a lot of uh, unknowing blocks, shields to protect yourself. It's just blossoming like a beautiful lotus recognizing that a lotus first starts upside down in the muddiest of waters until it's ready to turn around and face up and float on this beautiful water and knowing that as you face up you see the sky and it's like being a part of where you are, this human body, where you are sitting, where you are in this room, in that space, in that building, in that city, county, country, continent, on Mother Earth, a part of all the planets and the stars, part of the galaxy and the universe. And just recognizing that you are part of all this. And if you were to look from above that you are a part of all that, you are nothing but a minute little speck of a something that you can't even see unless you turn around and go backwards and backwards and forward and forward and start spiraling back to where you are today, right? Thousands and thousands of galaxies and stars and recognizing that you come back into the stars, back into the planets, back into being on Mother Earth. That's where you are. And back into your continent, into your country, into your state, into your county, into your city, into your small little town, into this building that you are in or outdoors, into your body. And you drop in here and realize you are just a part of all. You, who you are, is not this body not this mind, but accumulation and a collaboration of that is. Because your body is here to house you, shield you, and protect you. It does everything for you. It regulates your entire and bodily function that subconsciously it's working, but consciously you're not thinking about it unless something goes wrong or there is a pain, or a discord, or a disconnect. Until then, you just function normally. So today's message is to have a heal, to go from that pain, that fear, that negative motion to healing, to growing, to becoming. Let us evoke what was to shed a light so that you can embrace the reality that here and now. 
only to evolve to the best version of you, to what it is that you want, because that's called intentional living. So let me see. Hi, Leslie. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my God, Leslie, I can't wait for all the things that we are creating. All you who are watching, uh, there is so many incredible things coming forward. And I, I am starting a whole new thing, um, bigger, better, different platform. And if you want to be a part of my show, if you have uh, something that you want to promote. I'm already reaching out. Actually, a few people have already reached out to me and said, yes, yes, yes. I am so excited. Uh, next week, we're starting, uh, well, it's this entire month is Women's International Month, Women's Month. Not that we are segregating women and men, but it is celebrating who we are. And the platform that I am going, it is bigger. It is absolutely amazing. So if you want more information, which is going to be coming soon, please message me. I will be posting some things. Uh, so please be on the lookout and realize. Many, many years ago, there was a time that I was all the way up there doing stress management for top-notch companies and corporations like AT&T, Guest Corporation, Lowry's Corporation. And for whatever reason, I know the reason, it, it took me down to a point of like just closing down my massage business that I loved. I loved the connection I had with all my clients. And I, when I did massage, it was not just to do a massage, but it was connecting with that body to truly heal the body to a point that they felt as if they are a mush when they got out of my table. And if when I was doing the hypno massage is to release the pain, the trauma out of the body or blocks frozen shoulder that within half an hour, they would walk out and it's no longer frozen because I would tap in there and speaking, having a dialogue with themselves, with their body. Now, instead of doing the massages, I am doing the same thing through hypnotherapy. And yet I am very hands-on, I connect. So this going all the way up and down, up and down, sometimes it is just a small little switch. It's just a small little mindset reset with a heart set. My mind was there, and but I had not done the reset with love. So from being a six-figure earner, thriving, having five people working for me, doing all these companies, being traveling to different companies and organizations, aerospace, and being sent, and they would pay for all the travels and everything. And I'm not saying to boast, but I'm saying, you know what? I went all the way down to could not see myself outside. It's like I couldn't even get my head out of the sand and I would drag coming to work. And today, I know the reasons. Today, I understand it. Today, in the past few months, I've done such deep work, core work, that it's no longer about me the same way as then it was about them. A shift. And my intention is now far greater, far surpassing what it was over four years ago, five years ago. So if I am coming back with different messages, coming back and going on different platform is truly to bring a message that you matter, 
that every time you stand in the mirror for you to say, I matter and believing in who you are and recognizing the I, this one capital I has a beautiful top, the protective and the bottom, which is holding space for you to stand up for who you are. I is the only word in the vocabulary, in the dictionary that has a meaning, a full meaning of its own. No other word in the dictionary stands by itself. So my message is for me to go beyond right here, right now. And would you join me? And if you are not able to join me, if you know anyone who has a far greater message, if they want to share something that they are doing, by all means, I am being, I am opening to do the interviews on a different scale. So I invite you to message me, do a direct message, call me, email me, and by all means, I'm here for you. Let's spread the word and make an impact on a bigger level because that's what Heal Within is for me. So, hey, <laughs> uh, it was great being here with you. Um, I want to leave today's message by saying, may God bless you and the universal light surround you no matter where you are at home or at work remember that who you are is not what you are let's peel away the ego let's peel away ego is good let's peel away the titles let's peel away the self-limiting beliefs and know that maybe if you have not realized there are people who truly care for you and love you even when they don't say it or speak it or share it, show it. With that, I thank you for being here and let us close today's message with humming because humming awakens all your nerves and sets an intention by vibration shall we um. one more time um. Last one, everything about Lisa is free. Um, thank you, and I will see you next week on Heal Talk Tuesdays. Goodbye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.